morning guys, April 21st, 2022. So there I got a call from a lady. Um, she's got a problem with that boiler all full of soot. I've worked for her brother before. She usually goes over there to let me in at her brother's house. So she's probably never cleaned this thing for years and years and years. So it's... I don't know until I get there, but I know it's all full of black soot. She said there's soot all over the place. The thing was blowing black soot all over. So she shut it off yesterday, called me. Her daughter actually called me last night. So I'll go by there in the morning. Sooty boiler like that that they don't clean. You don't want to do that at night. You go there the next day. They're not even doing the preventing maintenance on it. What are you going to rush over there for them for? Be crazy. Do it in the morning. Be a couple hours. I gotta take it all apart, clean it all out, get it back up and running. So, just lack of maintenance. Try to get you some shots when I get there. That's the situation. It's a boiler full of soot. So, we gotta take it all apart, clean it all out, vacuum it all out, change the nozzle and the filters, and get it back and running and see if we can figure out what was why it suited. Probably just dirty nozzle or dirty head or something, you know. Dirty air band, not breathing. You should have it serviced every year. You won't have that problem or you might not. You got less of a chance of having a problem if you have it serviced all the time. So a good thing it's not too cold out. I mean, it's in the 50s during the day, so. We'll try to get you some shots, me and Miss Molly. Well, <laughs> yeah, we're working again, Miss Molly. Miss Molly, you got your little sweater on today, Miss Molly. So we got the, uh, the tank you said's outside? Yes. Uh, you want me to take this side of here, too? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. I don't. I noticed last summer it was leaking water in the yeah. tank and um, in the back. In the back? And then it stopped. And then it stopped? Uh, yeah. I've been checking once in a while, so I says, oh, let me wait. As long as it's not leaking. I don't know. It's blocked. <laughs> Maybe you got lucky. All right, I got to take it apart and clean it. Yes. That I knew it was going to happen. I'm going to have to. Yeah, take yeah. it apart and clean it. Good. Yeah, that's yeah, so you got a Roth tank here. Yeah, you're getting a little low. Yeah, I'm calling Monday because I'm on a uh, few of the so All right. this is my last time. Two pipes, so that's self-bleeding. That's good. Right. Yeah, it's got, it's got the regular duplex fitting on it, which is fine. Comes out here, and then it goes right into the chimney. Mm -hmm. It's kind of odd. Yeah. It's the way they do it, did it. We'll have to see about that. <clears throat> well, I gotta check it. Yeah, probably. I used to come and clean, never check that. Yeah, it ain't bad, but I needed to check it, you know, make sure that it's clear. I rather be. Right, yes. I rather be safe than I'm sorry. I'm, I'm biting myself and noise and the things I got. Panic sometimes. All right, so it's back in there. Yeah, ain't crazy bad. 
crazy bad. I'm gonna have to come all apart. Caught it just in time. You can see it's not really dirty. Got lucky. <sighs> Got lucky. Just in time, Mama. Just in time, Mama. Since the guys called it, I guess 219, so that's three years. All right, so it's a two pipe system, so I don't have to bleed it. Let's see what we got here. Let me check this filter. Might be back feeding. I gotta shut this other one off too. Just for shits and giggles. Don't look bad, but I'm gonna change it anyway while I'm here. See, it's an overhead oil line. I'm not going to worry about dumping the oil out of it. I should have a new filter here. I'm going to put the oil back in there. So it's about half an inch down. You don't have to pull that much. And that's a two pipe, so it shouldn't be an issue. It has to pull good because it's an overhead oil line. Pull the vacuum for it to work. I gotta definitely ch clean the change the nozzle on this thing. Definitely. Kind of a tough spot and I'm in here. This is one of them Beckett. Beckett burners. You can tell it's not hasn't been cleaned in a while. In front of it looks like it's got some soot on it here. seal in the world. I'll take 
this thing apart and we'll take a look at it. started to act up. The door's not even tight. That's why it was blown so look at that. The door's not even tight on there. That's why it was leaking. That's why this one's not tight either. This one's loose also. That's why it was leaking. So it wasn't sealed. We'll get it up and running and see what happens. We'll get it up and running and check the draft. I'm gonna have it tight. It's gonna be sealed. This should be a, um, a 60 or 45 degree nozzle, it's a 70, it's the wrong one in there. That's probably why it's acting up. It's the wrong nozzle for this head. You should run a 60 or 45 degree. I'd rather run a 45. It's a 70 in there, it's no good. Seventy to seventy degree B seventy five. Here's the one you want to run in there, forty five degree. That's the also you want to run in there. right in the middle like that See, what, see what's happening with that.
fire it up and check the draft. We'll see if it fires. chimney was set up. The door wasn't even tight. That's why it was um, running a little shitty and it was peeling right out of there. She got lucky. system so it's self bleeding on the uh, on the oil filter self bleeding sometimes you gotta get lucky No filter at tank, we tightened up swing door, we set the airband. We caught it just in time, this whole door was loose. There's a bolt there, and the bolt there that was loose. We got no filter. And uh, she's up and running, she's not. We caught it just in time. Caught it just in time. <laughs> 